What's going on, diamonds and gents? This is Miss Trey, that gem, and you are watching Gem Sport TV. I have literally been uh, not staying, well, staying away from commentating on certain things, but hey, we got to get into it. Listen, Aura Kelly and this whole thing with the girls is really getting out of hand. Allegedly, they're trying to say this man has uh, kept some girls against their will. But come to find out from the girls, they're all about that life. They all into it. They all want to be a part of the sex slave trapped in a closet occult situation. I mean, they're grown. You know, she's 22 years old. At this point, all he can do as her father is be in prayer for his child. I mean, you know what I mean? You can't really, I say, be angry at the situation unless you know she's saying daddy help she ain't saying daddy help she's saying i like the situation i'm in so at this point now it's like r kelly is in the right because now he's allegedly talking about bringing charges against the savage family I mean, and then social media is going all out of whack and control, out of control because of this press conference that the Savage family came up with saying this man is holding these girls against they will and he, won't, he don't want his daughter coochie wrangled no more. Listen, brother, if you did, she wouldn't be with Ara if you was doing what you were supposed to be doing as her father some ain't right there that's a daddy issue there don't look little young girls don't go looking for old men like ara kelly unless they got daddy issues come on now let's talk about what's really the issue is okay moving on so allegedly he's supposed to be bringing uh charges against the savage family we'll see what happens with that let's talk about usher allegedly giving his bridesmaid herbie now listen up now hold on I thought he was married some years ago. So that means that now that uh, uh, you figured out that who gave you herpes, so you say, now you want to allegedly sue this man. Listen up now. Am I confused? Am I the only one in here confused? How many years did it take her? Ain't it a statute of limitation to the herpes? I just want to know. Is it? Baby, listen, who goes to find a man after how many years of marriage and he didn't been divorced from this woman about five years to say, you gave me herpes, allegedly. Y'all, I don't know about this here story. Y'all got, and y'all got my boy out here wrong and I'm done with these memes talking about this boy and these herpes. Listen up. First of all. And is it confirmed case with a doctor, a physician on duty, or OBGYN that this woman got herpes? Secondly, allegedly. Secondly, do Usher got herpes? And y'all all been following and chasing them around. And allegedly, he's have he's been having you know homosexual sex too. So y'all all better get checked. This is serious business out here in these herpes streets, allegedly. I'm just saying to protect myself. Usher, uh, sure? I don't know, baby. Moving on. So let's talk about Kevin Hart got a pregnant wife and allegedly he was sleeping with somebody else. Now, my issue with this whole situation with Kevin Hart and him allegedly sleeping with somebody else. First of all, why he still married allegedly to that other girl while he was with one this woman? Or am I wrong? Y'all let me know down in the comment section. Because I could be wrong. You know. What make her thought he wasn't going to do the same thing to her? I'm just saying. And Kevin Hart is at big status now. So coochie by the pound is being thrown at this man. Understand what I'm saying to you. Okay. So it's hard not to accept the cuckoo by the pound. When you got it thrown at you like that. And his wife is pregnant. Listen up. It's sad to say. But that man has been known to not have self-control, allegedly, because I thought he cheated on his last wife. That's why they ain't together. Okay, so with Kevin Hart, I ain't surprised that he got him some little ramshack on the cuckoo, on the lean, on the side. I ain't shocked, allegedly, to protect myself. Now, let's move on into the religious sector of it all, okay? Now... Apparently, the man on the left did a video 
letting it be known that tattoos is not uh, uh, going to get you sent to hell. But eating that pork and that swine can. <laughs> Listen up, y'all. <laughs> Brian Khan was mad about it. Listen, that's the man on the right. Or the uh, what's that, y'all? That's gonna be you looking at the screen, so that's gonna be your right. The man on the left is the one who did the video. So, Brian Khan takes to social media to air this man out because he allegedly did return his phone call to speak to him in private about a video he did publicly. Okay, so being from Chicago. I know all about this situation here and how the man's church on the left, if you looking at the screen, is growing by leaps and bounds. And everybody and their mama want to attach themselves to him and everybody and their mama want to come up against him and yada, 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 because he has a different look and this and that and another. Listen, I got red hair and tattoos, too, and I love Jesus. Listen up. I don't have time for the uh, for the booty chatter. Mr. Khan, you really felt it that detrimental to your religious uh, sector and character that you had to come for this man on social media publicly because he didn't return your call. Now, I got to give it to Mr. Khan. That's your man on the right. He, if he did reach out to the man privately and he didn't want to talk about it, now... We got a thing in America called freedom of speech. If he want to get on social media and I guess allegedly talk about the situation, by all means, he got every right to feel how he want to feel, say what he want to say. But the man on the left, if you're looking at the screen with the blue on, this brother defended you, Mr. Khan, when everybody was calling you a con artist and a psychic. And you were still in that psychic prophetic words. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and say you're wrong for that, Mr. Khan, because he did take up for you. Now, let me just go ahead and say, I could care less. I just do not want to see a beef in the religious community. It just don't make sense. I'm going to need Mr. Khan to stand down. You just said your piece, brother. Now stand down. And with the, <laughs> I sink the flyer. You going to put the man name on the flyer. You was wrong for that. And that's just what it is. You don't take nobody's name and put it on no flyer, bruh. You was wrong for that. And then you kept saying in your video, I'm not trying to be popular or famous by mentioning him. Well, why would you have to say that? If you was not, and obviously you was because you put the man's name on the flyer. So you was trying to be messy, messy boots, but neither here nor there. You're wrong, Mr. Khan. You should have, you should have just left it alone. I just want to know why is it so detrimental to your career for you to have to come and say something to this man about a tattoo? When I'm sure you eating bacon and sausages and you cut your hair, as I can see, every chance you get. Now, that's just all I have to say about that situation. And the man name been said and drugged through the mud so much, I refuse to say his name. So if you take the image <laughs> and go look it up, you'll be able to see who it is. This has been Miss Trade That Jim bringing you, I guess, the breaking crazy news as always. You know what to do. Talk to me in the comment section. I love to uh, holler back at you and see what it is your opinion is. And that is all. Also, I appreciate everyone who's wished me a happy birthday. I appreciate you, appreciate your dollars for that. Always. And it should be a video of what I got for my birthday coming up real soon. All right, diamonds and gents. Diamonds, you are the toughest material on the earth, ladies, and there's none like you. Gents, you're no longer boys when you watch this channel. And to all my darlings, appreciate you, appreciate you, baby. Have joy, love, and be empowered in the 2017. You be blessed.